Hello guys, today we will be going over estimating the estimating the annual percentage rate using a table. So annual percentage rate, also known as APR, APR, APR is the same thing as annual percentage rate, it's just the rate of interest that you will pay over the course of a year. And I will be showing you a table for this and it's going to look a bit confusing at first but don't worry I will explain it okay so we can see one column which is just our number of payments and then there's this other column which I've made pink usually they'll explain this on most APR charts but in this one they don't I think that that's why it says partial at the top um, so it says finance so this this column uh, this this column is this pink column uh, is just your finance charge per $100. If you're not familiar with what a finance charge is, I encourage that you watch some of our older videos where we discuss a uh, finance charge uh, per $100. Uh, and then this one is just a finance charge per $100, this, uh, this entire pink section. So now if we had, let's say, we had 39 monthly payments and we had a finance charge of, a finance charge of, of, Eighteen dollars per per one hundred dollars. Our annual percentage rate would be so we had over the course of thirty nine months, we had an eighteen dollar finance charge per hundred dollars. Our APR would then just be ten point two five percent. So that's how you would calculate it. Now let's do one more example. So we had forty five, then we had a twenty four point say twelve uh, dollar uh, finance charge per hundred dollars. So we went over here there and then that would be an 11.75 percent annual percentage rate so now we've got one word problem to kind of um, have a bit more fun with this so calculate the approximate apr of a 3200 dollars three-year loan that was paid in monthly installments that had a finance charge of 517 dollars so a three-year loan paid in monthly installments would be three years 12 months per year so times 12 equals 36. it would take 36 months to pay this loan back and now we have to find the finance charge per hundred dollars. So we had a finance charge of five hundred seventeen dollars over a total of three hundred thirty-two hundred dollars. So if we wanted to make this one hundred dollars, we could divide by thirty-two hundred over thirty-two hundred, and then we had to multiply by one hundred over one. Uh, but sorry, by 100 over 100. Wow, I got so confused myself for a second. 100 over 100 so that we can make this base go from 1 to 100. Because uh, we're calculating per $100. That's the same way that you convert to percents. I just kind of extended the uh, formula to uh, make it a bit more easy to comprehend. So 517 over 3200 is point. Is, so this part is 0. 0 0.1615625. So now if we times it by 100, we just get 16.15625. So 16.15625, that is our finance charge per $100. Finance charge, finance charge per dollars 100. So now if I scroll up, and now, well, 16.15625, it's very, very close to 16.16. So we can use this. We had to pay 36 payments. So our annual percentage rate is going to be approximately 10%. Now we'll do this. In this case, APR is approximately 10%. So anyways, I hope that you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.